clean out the truck some here. Usually what I try to do is get the uh, equivalent level of dampness on the towel every time. It's not always possible because sometimes there's just not enough water. So, alright, it's not completely so, but it's good enough. All right. not at 62 times background, but it's 24 times background now. This is a 30 second moving average updated every 3 seconds. And EPA's RADNET for St. Louis today has been showing lots of gamma in the last few days and less, uh, less beta. So this is pretty hot. We're approaching 30 times background. caused by the uh, truck driving through the air. So let's let that run for a second and I'll be back in a second. So far. Wow. That's pretty hot. Alright, so 375 is where it maxed out. Mm -hmm. 0.375 millirems per hour. Yep. Looks like it might have stabilized at 0.35. We'll go with the max because you can't tell without a longer reading. Alright. This is from the back of the truck, and there's a lot less water in this sample, a lot less water, but more grime. So let's see what more grime buys us. Ah, very interesting. So in this case, the uh, radioactivity is not coming back up from the ground, or road wash up at least not in this particulate but it's actually directly from the rain so that's pretty high pretty disturbing what I should say I'm going to take one more sample from the roof of the truck the truck's mostly dry because it's just barely drizzling. But uh, I'll see if I can get 
see what the roof of the truck shows. Still high. Yeah, I haven't got a 375 again, but it's holding around 360. This is a sample from the roof of the truck. It's still, as you can see, relatively dry. But uh, more rain and less road wash up. I would say in this case, this is still hot, very hot, 20 times background. Let's see how high it goes. But in this case, there definitely seems to be a strong correlation between the amount of water on the towel, the amount of rainwater wiped up, and the, uh, the reading, uh, more so than the particulate.